I'm fully committed to the New Balance brand, and now it's my personal mission to own at least one pair of every classic silhouette. I'm here today crossing one off the list with a pair of the 576 in this burgundy and desert camo colorway. There are a few unique things about this pair, the first thing being that I bought them on eBay for $60 shipped. This is a pretty killer deal especially given the suggested $160 retail price when these first released in 2014. The second thing being that this specific pair was made in the United States. While it isn't uncommon for the 576 to be made in the US, this classic silhouette is historically known for being birthed and consistently produced across the pond in England since the model's debut in 1988. That said, between 2013 and 2014, the 576 model was being manufactured more and more in the United States. This specific pair that I have was one of the later camo variants that New Balance put out with similar camouflage makeups back in the day. With the pair that I have, you'll notice how subtle, yet flashy they are. And what I mean by that is that the uppers are predominantly composed of this burgundy suede. While burgundy is a muted color, these would definitely stand out in a crowd. In true made in the USA New Balance fashion, the quality of the suede is superb and has that plush and luxurious feel that you'd expect. To contrast all the burgundy are these hits of mesh in this desert camo print. I know this print isn't for everybody, but you know what they say, different strokes for different folks. That aside, the mesh is super lightweight making the sneaker feel decently breathable. The nice thing about these is that they aren't super overbearing in advertising that they were made in the United States. The only US instance you get on these is on the tag that reads US 576. I will say I was kinda disappointed because unlike all the pairs of new bounces that I have, which is a lot by the way, be sure to check out my other videos, shameless plug there, this pair of 576s doesn't have any reflective material on them. As far as technology goes, this 576 takes on a C-cap technology, which is slightly different from the N-cap technology that us New Balance folks are used to. The C-cap technology basically adds cushion without sacrificing flexibility according to their website. I will say, it definitely has much more of a stiffer ride compared to the soft and bouncy feel you'd get in a 574 model. On that note as well, the 576 has a striking resemblance to the 574. I mentioned this in my video on my grey pair of 574s, but essentially they look similar because the 574 is based on both the 575 and 576 silhouettes. It's tough to say which one I like better in seeing them side by side. I do think it warrants a comparison video, so definitely be on the lookout for that in the near future. Overall, I'm a big fan of this pickup, and for $60, you can't beat the idea of picking up a quality sneaker full of heritage in a colorway that you wouldn't see on somebody's feet every day. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you like this pair of 576s? Are there any 576s that have released in the past that you had your eyes on? Let me know about it down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please do drop a like and check out my other sneaker videos. That's all for this one, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.